Chapter 16 Asa's Treaty with Syria In the sixth and thirtieth year of the reign of Asa, Baasha, king of Israel, went up against Judah, and built Ramah, that he might not allow anyone to go out or come in to Asa, king of Judah. Then Asa brought out silver and gold, out of the treasures of the house of Yahweh, and of the king's house, and sent to Ben-Hadad, king of Syria, who lived at Damascus, saying, Let there be a treaty between me and you, as there was between my father and your father. Behold, I have sent you silver and gold. Go, break your treaty with Baasha, king of Israel, that he may depart from me. Ben-Hadad listened to King Asa, and sent the captains of his armies against the cities of Israel. And they struck Ijon, and Dan, and abel Maim, and all the storage cities of Naphtali. It happened, when Baasha heard of it, that he left off building Ramah, and let his work cease. Then Asa the king took all Judah, and they carried away the stones of Ramah, and its timber, with which Baasha had built. And he built therewith Geba and Mezpah. Hanani's Message to Asa At that time Hanani the seer came to Asa, king of Judah, and said to him, Because you have relied on the king of Syria, and have not relied on Yahweh your God, Therefore is the army of the king of Syria escaped out of your hand. Weren't the Ethiopians and the Lubim a huge army, with chariots and horsemen exceeding many? Yet because you relied on Yahweh, he delivered them into your hand. For the eyes of Yahweh run back and forth throughout the whole earth, to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Herein you have done foolishly, for from henceforth you shall have wars. Then Asa was angry with the seer, and put him in the prison, for he was in a rage with him because of this thing. Asa oppressed some of the people at the same time. The Death and Burial of Asa. Behold, the acts of Asa, first and last, behold, they are written in the book of the kings of Judah and Israel. In the thirty-ninth year of his reign, Asa was diseased in his feet. His disease was exceeding great, yet in his disease he didn't seek Yahweh, but sought the physicians. Asa slept with his fathers, and died in the one and fortieth year of his reign. They buried him in his own tombs, which he had dug out for himself in the city of David, and laid him in the bed, which was filled with sweet odors and various kinds of spices, prepared by the perfumer's art. And they made a very great burning for him, 